Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to a new week of Brian's Bible Break. And as you can see, I'm snowed in still. Uh, so we're working from home today and doing our Bible Break from home today. And uh, this morning we are uh, looking at Psalm 28 and verses 8 and 9 and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. Lord, we rejoice in it. Well, sort of. Uh, we're still digging ourselves out, Lord, and um, we just pray that you will keep everyone safe. Lord, you will give everyone rest, and most especially that you will give us strength. And so, God, as we come into your presence, as we pause and reflect on your word, Lord, we pray that you will strengthen us for our journey. Quiet within us any voice but your own, in the name of Jesus Christ, in whose mighty and precious name we pray. Amen. So, Psalm 28, verses 8 and 9. The Lord gives his people strength. He is a safe fortress for his anointed king. Save your people. Bless Israel, you, your special possession. Lead them like a shepherd and carry them in your arms forever. The Lord gave me this, these verses this morning as I was praying for strength. As uh, we are, as I say, still digging out from uh, this massive snowstorm that we uh, received yesterday and uh, I hope that each one of you has uh, been kept safe and as you have dug out your driveways, your walkways, your cars, that you have uh, not suffered any um, ill from, from doing so. But the truth is, it is the Lord who gives us strength. This Psalm of David is a, is a word of encouragement for us this day. As he states, the Lord gives his people strength. Our strength comes from the Lord. That is the truth. That uh, so often we uh, see people trying to do things in their own strength, in their own will, in their own wisdom. But the truth is those who who find their rest, find their strength, find their peace in the Lord, are able to do far greater things than they could think or imagine, because the Lord is with them, the Lord is guiding them, His hand of favor is upon them. And so we do seek the strength of the Lord each and every day, to guide us, to uphold us, and to lead us in the way we should go. He is a safe fortress for his anointed king. He is indeed a safe fortress for all who seek him with a humble heart. And we find safety and we find protection in him when we seek him. David says, save your people. Bless Israel, your special possession." We pray that God will pour out his peace upon Israel and indeed upon all his people, that he will save them from the time of trial, that he will save them from suffering and from persecution. And we pray that for, for ourselves today, that in this time of, of, um, of difficulty, we pray that the Lord will help us, the Lord will save us, the Lord will bless us. And finally, David says, lead them like a shepherd and carry them in your arms forever. We pray that, that the great shepherd, the good shepherd, Jesus Christ, will lead us. For the desire of our hearts is to follow him. As Jesus says in John chapter 10, the good shepherd chapter in, in the gospel of John, that 
we hear his voice and his sheep recognize his voice and follow him. And we do recognize the voice of Jesus and we do follow him each and every day. And it is indeed the good shepherd, Jesus Christ, who leads us each and every day. And then David finishes off this psalm with this beautiful picture of our relationship with our Heavenly Father. It says, carry them in your arms forever. What a beautiful picture of, of God carrying us in his arms. Of course, there have been many um, artists' depictions of Jesus carrying a sheep in his arms, sometimes carrying a sheep on his shoulders. And it's that acknowledgement that, that we receive our strength, our comfort, our peace, our protection from Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that he does carry us. He does lead us. And he does protect us. And so, friends, I encourage you this day to spend time with the one who desires to carry you in his arms, our Heavenly Father and his Son, Jesus. Find comfort in him. Find strength in him. And know the peace which passes all understanding, which comes from him alone. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we struggle sometimes, Lord, to surrender to you. We think that you're too busy for our small problems. We think that you don't concern yourself with our issues. You're too busy with far greater issues that affect the world. We think that in our own independence, we can handle everything in our lives on our own. We don't need to trouble you. But Lord, we acknowledge that those are the lies of Satan, that indeed you do care. You care for each one of us. As your word says, if you care and provide for the sparrows and the lilies of the field, how much more do you care for us, your beloved children? And so, Lord, we thank you and we praise you. And we worship and adore you. Father, we pray that your hand of favor will be upon us this day, leading us. That you will comfort us and strengthen us for our journey. Father, may we see your face shining before us as we walk humbly with you. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, be safe and take care on this Dig Out Tuesday, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow uh, with another Bible break. So friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow.